vlog 530. It's a gorgeous day. The rain is over, at least for the time being. There's several days that are going to be coming next week full of rain. But for right now, tomorrow is wheels and waves. But today, I'm headed south, going to the Automobile Driving Museum, going to the Tri-5 show. 55, 56, and 57 Chevys going to be awesome. I'm also going to be picking up a very cool car for Wheels and Waves tomorrow. This vlog is actually airing on the same day that the Wheels and Waves show is happening. So if you're watching this, chances are you just got home from Wheels and Waves and you've already seen the car. And if you didn't get a chance to go to the show, you got to see it today. Uh, hanging out at the museum. How are you, Fireball? Uh, uh, I'm doing great. You you managed to wrangle something interesting. This is very interesting. We're just finding out the story about it. Mm -hmm. And it's 1938 Lincoln Zephyr. This is supposed to be a Tri-5. It didn't say Tri-5 plus one. No, no. You see, we're not outside. Oh, okay. We're in the back, yeah. away from the Tri-5s. 1938 Lincoln Zephyr. Town car, bodied by Brune. We're just finding out about the story. It appears to be one of 10 made for the Ford family wow. in two batches of five. But I'm waiting to hear back from the Ford Museum on that. Awesome, let's check this out. Yeah, it's I'm opening the hood, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Flathead V12. Dude, it's awesome. This right here, 1938 Lincoln Zephyr that Greg just brought in. Pretty incredible car. Wes, Packard. This is the Packard Darren that is coming to Wheels and Waves tomorrow. You guys are watching this, so if you went to Wheels and Waves, you would see it. It's parked right next to you. But what I'm bringing oh, that's is exciting. right over there. That's cool. Are you, are you, are you going to show anybody, or is this a surprise? No, I can show them because they're at the show right now. Okay, well, let's turn around then. Getting our picture taken. <laughs> yeah. Look at Pete. All day, man. We got all day. Anytime. I got a show to shoot. Come on. Wah, wah, Good 
Good shot, buddy. <laughs> Good shot. We figured that getting shots down in the show was cool, but sneaking up on the roof, that's even cooler. Isn't it, Wes? It is cool. Bob, you got a cool car here today. Something different. We're at the Chevy Tri-5 show here at the ADM. It has something that's called the Bellwood. Yes. And it's a it's a custom, what, what year is it? 55 Chevy, two-door okay. wagon. What possessed you to take something that was so cool and make it extremely cooler? Well, I have quite a few surfboards and I need something to put them on. That's an understatement. Yeah, that's an understatement. All right, you, you got a bunch of balsa boards where, at your home? Yeah, at my, at my shop. We won't tell anybody where that is because they'll come over and want to see them. Yeah. You know, but how many you got? I got 46 balsas. I go all the way back to a 46 Simmons. <laughs> Were you friends with Dewey? Well, yeah, I went to, uh, uh, in 1948, I was two years behind him at Pacific School. Oh, nice. I worked for Greg Knoll in the 60s. Oh, man. Jim Lyman. Incredible. So tell, tell me about this car behind us. Uh, it's basically a 55 Chevy that Steve Stanford did the original artwork for. And I told him I wanted it to look like a Woody. And he did all the artwork. A friend of mine uh, did all the woodwork. Put one piece windows in the side to make it look a little bit different. Which, and the, the name, way it got its name Bellwood, the Bel Air, I had that particular piece of script. Right. And they made a Brookwood wagon. <laughs> Same script. So I turned it into a bell. So you cut them up wood. and put them together? Yeah, I cut it up, put them together. Very cool. Pacer, right there. AMC Pacer. Excited. I'm now driving the Pacer. I'm not even sure what year this is. I think it's a 73, 74. Don't even know. Don't even care. It's a Pacer. Back home, back at the ranch, as they say, mm. back at the pad. But you've done something pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'll show you. All right, it's outside. Ooh, she's got her arm on. She's got her arm on, and then I have to wait for this to perfectly dry, and then I'll sand it and blend it. You know, it looks as, great. As good as I can. Looks great. I had to drill a hole in the in the body as well as the arm and then stick a little piece of copper tubing in here and here so it'd be strong. This is not just held by plaster. She looks great. Good job. Yeah. Same thing, they gotta get drilled out and put something in to hold it. This one, I'm gonna have to kinda hand sculpt this area because it broke. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Looks good. And then I just have to uh, order the page and do think. You know, I'm tired. I'm tired. Uh, I'm not tired from all the amazing, incredible stuff today. The Tri-5 Show driving the Jeep down, picking up the pacer, seeing all these incredible people, the, the drivers and the, you know, just all the amazing people that I met. 
my pinky really wants to go up right now. I'm just hanging out and having a good time. That, that's basically it. I, I'm not tired from all that stuff because that stuff was freaking awesome. What I am tired from is the freaking hike that I did yesterday. My legs are killing me. But the biggest part that hurts right now is my butt. My butt hurts like crazy. But that's what happens when you try to have a nice, tight, toit butt. You know, like two cantaloupes. You know, cantaloupes. Perfect. Uh, that's what it takes, you know, if you want to have a really nice derriere, you know, kind of like this pacer, then you want to have uh, uh, opportunities to get out there and to, to hike and uh, to drive places that are really cool. And sometimes you need really cool glasses to be able to do that. And of course, once again, that brings me to today's theme. Life is not a life at all, unless you're having a good time. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, you can have a job and the job stinks, and then you look forward to the weekend. You look forward to going home, where you can kind of go, ah, oh, everything is so much better now. Or how about this? Okay, I'm going to stretch. This is going to be a, a, a really far stretch for you, for some of you, uh, as a concept. But I'm going to say, what if your life, your entire life, I'm talking about every minute, if you chain linked every single second all the way through from the time you woke up until the time you went to bed was just freaking fun. Is it possible to be able to create a life like that? Of course it is. Of course it is. And there's lots of ways to be able to do that. And the number one way that you do that is to find all the things that you love to do. The best way to do that is to make a plan in the morning. That's what I do. Every morning I have a, an index card and on that index card I write down all the coolest things that I could think of that I could do throughout that day. And things that I need to do but things that, that although I need to do them they're important because it adds up to all the greater fun. That's how you chain link the day. That's how you put those things together. But number one you have to believe that you can do that. The way you do that, the way you secure that is to bring the party. Bring the party baby. Bring it from yourself. Don't rely on someone else to bring the party. Don't rely on there to be a party there when you get there. you got to bring the party. you got to be that change. Commit to the idea that you, you are the one bringing the party. Get in there and get excited about your life because if you're not excited about your life, nobody else is going to be. You got to step up, man. You got to step up. You got to bring the party. You got to stand out there and, and you got to you got to do the thing. Make your life a weekend. Make it spectacular. It's up to you. You got a condensed amount of days. You don't have many days in this lifetime. Now the days you get, you want to make them as perfect as possible, but you got to step up and you got to do the thing. And that's how we roll here on the blog, and that's how you roll if you're watching this.